I was kind of in bad shape when I come into the hospital. And my heart was only functioning at 15%. They're like, at the rate you're going, you could collapse any moment and die. He was dying of shock. Uh, his heart was not pumping enough blood around in his circulation to maintain uh, health of all of his vital organs. And without urgent intervention, he would not have survived. It's a lot, because you got to be very careful with it. Because the smallest thing, like this, this device getting wet, could cause it to defect. It getting too hot, it could defect. Too cold, it could defect. It's like a lot of things that you got to watch with this. So it's a lot of getting used to, I know that for sure. But hey, it's keeping me running. And yeah, just plug it in. And it, start char it charges itself. So there are two tubes that exit the body, and those two tubes uh, have to either be connected to a compressor or be connected to compressed air in the hospital. And there has to be an electronic system that controls the movement of air in and out through those tubes into the device. So with this uh, newer product, the Freedom Driver, uh, it allows the patient to go home. Maybe he'll be home for a week. Maybe he'll be home for six months. We don't know. While he's at home, I think he's going to get stronger, more independent, more functional. Certainly, it's going to be not only good for his rehabilitation, but I think good for his, his mind and his spirit as well. I'm the first person to actually get on a device. And he'd been trying to test it on many people, but they could never handle it. Well, it was pretty easy, because I was enthusiastic to learn about it, because, hey, this is what's going to keep me going. So if you don't know and I don't know, we both are going to be lost. We're going to be calling the doctors all week. Mr. Larkin has a familial cardiomyopathy, uh, so something that, that is genetic. and. Uh, his, his brother has the same problem, and uh, his brother was also recently implanted with the artificial heart and is not quite moved along to be on the Freedom Driver, but I'm hopeful that in uh, the near future we'll be able to send his brother home on the same device. I had two different episodes where I fainted and my heart wasn't pumping enough blood to my brain, which was causing me to faint, and it wasn't safe for me to be home, so they admitted me in the hospital to wait on my transplant. It really makes a lot of things easier to know that anything's possible and that as long as you don't give up, uh, he gave me motivation, like I said. That's the exact one I was on. Y'all have the same one. Uh, 22, 22. Uh, yeah. Uh, so this is my life. This right here is part of me, isn't it? Hey, get my brother killed. He's sure do the same for me. Looking at him, see how much progress he's making, how good he's doing, just make me want to do better for myself and know I'm not alone in this fight.